Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the channel where we build it, we don't buy it. Been a few, been a little while, but I'm back at it. Today, we're gonna convert this golf cart from a series type drive system to a PDS. Y'all stay tuned. Welcome to the channel where we build it, we don't buy it. All right, y'all know the old style old golf cart got the little lever right here under your uh legs it's got this uh resistor type deal i mean it's just a basic cheap uh as cheap as they can make them okay the battery trays are a little rusted got a new one i'm gonna put in uh we're gonna convert this to the style with the little button on the uh panel up here they have a little forward reverse put a little battery meter up here it's uh, uh hopefully <coughs> just a straightforward plug and play system it's an upgraded motor so we'll be able to pull, pull the big tires no problem so let me get everything laid out and we'll get right back with you all right so here's everything i got of course you got a motor gotta have that <laughs> but it was a kit come with a motor and a controller come with this little stuff here and it come with the con with the uh contactor this is a 400 amp contactor it's a heavy duty for the bigger motor come with this little bracket i'm a uh, we'll figure that out later Mo mainly the most important part come with this little book with the wiring diagram all right that's all you got to do is follow that wiring diagram now it come with this diode here it goes on the main. Let me see. Make sure I get this right. This goes on the main power of the uh, contactor. So it goes between these two posts. And this comes from the battery. Well, it actually comes from this 400 amp fuse to the control to the uh, contactor. Then it goes from the contactor to the controller. Okay. This goes between the two main these these two power posts. Okay. That ain't good. I hope my dad don't see that. <laughs> All right. So, if you read the print, okay, it's got all these little notes. Let me see if I can get this right. So it's got all these little notes right here on the side. And number one, the very first one to read, is on the controller side, which is between these two, right here. You got to have a M for a 400 amp system, which is what we got. You got to have an MR754 diode. So I got a pack of these. It was a pack of ten. It was the only way I could find it. It was cheap. It was two dollars more to buy that pack of ten than it was to buy one. So I bought the pack of ten. Now you got to have all these controllers, these con these uh plug-in wiring harnesses. This one is for the uh. It's for the uh, throttle pedal, and it I got the new uh, sensor for the actual throttle position, along with the little micro switch on and off tells you tells it when to get ready to go. And this one plugs in. It tells you on there, but it plugs in right there. Okay, I'm going to have to run everything but this is the main harness okay and it tells you what all these wires do what all the colors do and it plugs in right there y'all it's the first time i plug this stuff in so if i come across one that ain't right we're gonna have to deal with it this is the speed sensor okay now i've got to figure out I'm probably going to have to use this speed sensor and solder the wires onto here to where it just plugs in. But it plugs in right there. Okay. And then you got the tow haul switch. It plugs in right back there. And that's all now these are some accessories 
and I may try to do something with them later, but I do not need them for this to run. These are all the ones, this is all I got to hook up. It tells you very plainly what all of them do. Okay. And should be able to just plug and play. We're gonna go from the series to PDS and have a little bit more reliability, a lot more power, and hopefully not run through batteries as much because he uses that golf cart every day all over this farm. Coming back and forth up here to the shop, visiting me, all the way to the back side, you know. So we want to uh, get this cart back to being his everyday means of transportation and get it ready to go. So let's get busy, see what we can do. First, th oh, oh, one thing I forgot. Hold on. So I forgot about this, but it's here. A brand new aluminum battery tray off of Amazon. All right, just ready to bolt on. We'll unbolt this old rusted tray and bolt that one right in place. I'm gonna get all this, I'm gonna get all this out. Every bit of wiring in here is gonna come out. We're gonna start fresh. The only thing I may leave is the, uh, the uh, charger connector. I may just leave it hanging because I gotta figure out how it plugs in, which the booklet tells me. It, it, the booklet come with this controller, controller motor combo. So it just makes it so easy. So let's get to it. Y'all stay tuned. I hope y'all enjoy this.
All right. Two days, basically, two half days, basically. Maybe maybe about five hours today, six hours today. But we got it. It's converted from a series system, which is what all this old stuff is here. He wanted all this stuff back. All right. And went to a PDS. More efficient. It's a high torque motor, high amp controller. It's made for the big tires. It's got the forward and reverse up here. I put the battery meter in. Uh, all two gauge wire everywhere. It's all crimped and soldered. What else? Right now, this is temporary. We got a bad sensor in the charge port. Got to fix that. Other than that, everything's good to go. Got my resistors in here on the on the on the switch side and on the main side. So uh, everything's ready to go. That's uh, and he's he's uh getting we're getting the bigger tires and wheels be ordered this week, and we got uh, he's got new seat coming. This is pay supply wood, it's just what was in it. So I'm just gonna put it back in here so I can drive it. He's coming to pick this thing up here shortly. And how does this go? Yeah, just like that. Let's drive this thing. <clears throat> I got a problem with the brakes. I gotta work on the brakes. <laughs> that thing got some good to get up and go. I need to put the brakes on for him. Let me get him just bring them brakes to me. All right, people. There's another project done. Let's see if I can get this thing edited this afternoon or in the morning one and get this posted up. Appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have a great day. Remember, we build it, we don't buy it. I suggest do the same. You get the experience. You know how to fix it when it tears up. Like I said, I appreciate everything. Y'all check out some of my other videos and uh, see what you think. Y'all have a great day. Welcome to the channel where we build it, we don't buy it.